Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. We're going to do a couple of quick demos to show how Cypher Cloud utilizes data classification for email as well as for mobile devices. Uh, keep in mind to apply true zero trust in the cloud and to be able to truly have that deep visibility, adaptive controls and that automated protection in the cloud uh, you have to be able to apply some of these rules seamlessly. So let's go over some of that here. So what we're going to do is, as you can see this document, it doesn't have any uh, watermarks on it. It's a sensitive document. Uh, it has our internal content on it, intellectual property. In this case, it has uh, patent information with sensitive content all over. We're going to upload it. And as you can see here, the file was uploaded. And immediately when we look at the file being uploaded, we can see that it has watermarks all over that file. So uh, data classification being uploaded from a mobile device, unmanaged device without any agents on it, was able to connect securely to the cloud and we were able to apply security to that. Here, we're going to do, uh, do something similar. Another use case that we need to solve for in the cloud is that ethical firewalling, the ability to detect, protect email, uh, sensitive content as it's being shared within your organization and externally. So how do you do that? How do you create a data centric uh, environment in the cloud so you can adhere to HIPAA, CCPA, etc.? So here we have HIPAA. We're gonna apply this rule uh, to all senders. You can have groups if you want to really get granular with it. Um, and you have a long list of actions to remediate. In this scenario, we, are, we can encrypt, we can watermark, uh, deny, mask, uh, and we can also do this uh, as an integration with, with Microsoft AIP. Uh, we also integrate, of course, with Symantec DLP uh, to extend that policy. However, it's much simpler, cleaner, and more powerful if you use Cypher Cloud here, and I'll show you how. So in this scenario, uh, we what we're going to do is we have a notification that we're going to send back to that user, and we're going to email them and tell them, hey, you violated uh, our data protection policy. Uh, so that's all it takes, team. That is absolutely all it takes for you to be able to create a DLP policy in the cloud. So let's see how that works. So I'm going to log into my Office 365 instance here, sending an internal email to AL and an external email to someone at Gmail. And medical records, and you can see here, we're going to attach a file let's view that file and if you look at that file it has oh my goodness address phone numbers name social security medical records absolute violation ccpa gdpr hipaa pci P, it's just never ending here um and this is it, this happens constantly so if this was PCI, PII, intellectual property, such as financial records, patents, etc. Imagine the damage that would happen if you accidentally send that externally. So here what happened, uh, we have the, the firewall in place specific for, I call it firewall. It's really just data protection working. So the user who sent this out received a quick email bounce back saying uh, you, you, there was a violation in the email you just sent. Of course, you can customize this any way you want. Uh, policy violation because uh, the external recipient so-and-so, uh, and then you can, you can uh, apply this to your data protection rules, right? To your internal data protection policies. So that's how you truly go through um, and create a secure environment in the cloud for CCPA, for HIPAA, for PCI, and just for general data visibility in the cloud, right? So here uh, we're gonna look at our activity log and in the activity log, we capture a ton of information. Uh, we, you can see from the log what was exactly violated. Uh, you can use this data 
uh, in your sim as well from an EDR perspective if you're this is how much data we capture here um, you can shoot this into your sim your favorite sim uh, whatever you're using there and we also use this in Cypher Cloud for our UEBA so check out our UEBA demo as well thank you